Chapter 27 Then this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, sing a funeral song for Tyre, that mighty gateway to the sea, the trading center of the world. Give Tyre this message from the Sovereign Lord. You claimed, O Tyre, to be perfect in beauty. You extended your boundaries into the sea. Your builders made you glorious. You were like a great ship built of the finest cypress from Sinir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. They carved oars for you from the oaks of Bashan. They made your deck of pine wood brought from the southern coasts of Cyprus. Then they inlaid it with ivory. Your sails were made of Egypt's finest linen, and they flew as a banner above you. You stood beneath blue and purple awnings made bright with dyes from the coasts of Elisha. Your oarsmen came from Sidon and Arvad. Your helmsmen were skilled men from Tyre itself. Wise old craftsmen from Gibal did all the caulking. Ships came with goods from every land to barter for your trade. Men from distant Persia, Lydia, and Libya served in your great army. They hung their shields and helmets on your walls, giving you great honor. Men from Arvad and from Helek stood on your walls as sentinels. Your towers were manned by men from Gemad. Their shields hung on your walls, perfecting your splendor. Tarshish was your agent, trading your wares in exchange for silver, iron, tin, and lead. Merchants from Greece, Tubal, and Meshech brought slaves and bronze dishes. From Togama came riding horses, chariot horses, and mules. All these things were exchanged for your manufactured goods. Merchants came to you from Didan. Numerous coastlands were your captive markets. They brought payment in ivory tusks and ebony wood. Iram sent merchants to buy your wares. They traded turquoise, purple dyes, embroidery, fine linen, and jewelry of coral and rubies. Judah and Israel traded for your wares, offering wheat from Minith, early figs, honey, oil, and balm. Damascus traded for your rich variety of goods, bringing wine from Helbon and white wool from Zehar. Greeks from Uzal came to trade for your merchandise. Wrought iron, cassia, and calamus were bartered for your wares. Dedan traded their expensive saddle blankets with you. The Arabians and the princes of Kedar brought lambs and rams and goats in trade for your goods. The merchants of Sheba and Reama came with all kinds of spices, jewels, and gold in exchange for your wares. Haran, Kena, Eden, Sheba, Ashur, and Kilmad came with their merchandise too. They brought choice fabrics to trade, blue cloth, embroidery, and many colored carpets bound with cords and made secure. The ships of Tarshish were your ocean caravans, your island warehouse was filled to the brim. But look, your oarsmen are rowing your ship of state into a hurricane. Your mighty vessel flounders in the heavy eastern gale. You are shipwrecked in the heart of the sea, everything is lost. Your riches and wares, your sailors and helmsmen, your shipbuilders, merchants and warriors— on that day of vast ruin, every one on board sinks into the depths of the sea. Your cities by the sea tremble as your helmsmen cry out in terror. All the oarsmen abandon their ships. The sailors and helmsmen come to stand on the shore. They weep bitterly as they throw dust on their heads and roll in ashes. They shave their heads in grief because of you and dress themselves in sackcloth. They weep for you with bitter anguish and deep mourning. As they wail and mourn, they sing this sad funeral song. Was there ever such a city as Tyre, now silent at the bottom of the sea? The merchandise you traded satisfied the needs of many nations. Kings at the ends of the earth were enriched by your trade. Now you are a wrecked ship, broken at the bottom of the sea. All your merchandise and your crew have passed away with you. All who live along the coastlands are appalled at your terrible fate, their kings are filled with horror, and look on with twisted faces. The merchants of the nation shake their heads at the sight of you, for you have come to a horrible end, and will be no more.